Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a um, a lot going on. I, I always like to start with the you know the macro and look at the word sponsorship and racing when we when we're looking for uh, people that we're going to partner with. I actually don't like to use the word sponsorship because the the term the definition of sponsorship is to fund someone's uh, and a team or a person's endeavor. Um, I don't know about you, but I got plenty of stuff I can support myself or my son. Uh, I don't need to be handing out money to people. So I like to, you know, we like to use the word partnership. Partnership. Um, yeah. And then uh, it's the same with racing, racing in general. Um, you know, there's a big difference between formula one uh, and dirt track racing in Iowa. So, um, you know, we really got to get a little more granular when we're looking at this. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously we like to track, um, as much as we can, um, but there are certain forms of racing and certain groups that just is, is a little more untrackable. Um, so, you know, what, how do they make an impact in their local area? Obviously we like to sell springs, uh, everywhere across the country and we're dealing with every form of racing. So it gets a little bit difficult to track across the board. Uh, we do the best we can with tools and whatnot to track that, but there's also, you know, um, the local guy in his area could be a big influence. So. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we, we don't like, and it's the same in reverse, you know, a, a person that we're going to go after and, and partnership with, um, they should have a good knowledge of our company and vice versa. You know, if a company I've seen some of our competitors out there and saying, you know, we're sponsoring, we're sponsoring Come, you know, come sign up. Well, what does that say about them? They're, they're looking for the absolute minimum probably to give you, uh, in looking for the biggest return. So. Um, you know, it's the same in reverse for us. Obviously, we're looking for someone we can partner with that's going to give us the best bang for the buck. So the more they know about our company, the more they know about, um, you know, how they can be an influence in their area. Um, you know, whatever that may be, maybe, maybe it's social media, maybe it's a, maybe they're, you know, um, an advocate for the company um, and their local market or whatever the case may be, but they need to be invested in the company. Uh, you need to treat it as a partnership and we're not just giving you money. You need to look at what how you can stand out and be different. So I heard someone else say, which was actually a great piece of advice is, um, you know, maybe it's not in your area. We're pretty, I wouldn't say saturated, but we're very well known in the racing world. So maybe outside of that world, yes. you can be yes. a bigger yes. influence. So mm -hmm. I thought that was a great piece of advice. And we look for the same thing. We, we try and venture out of our normal circles uh, and find a way we can reach uh, a broader group. I see that. And Ben and I have talked about this several times that you don't necessarily need to be in racing anymore to represent a sponsor. And so thanks, David.